Hey guys, this is Moto. Just had to stop and figure out why the hell my camera wasn't turning on. Oh, Jesus. Well, guys, I'm out on the ZS190 again. You can probably hear it. And I gotta put my helmet claps on. Uh, hold on. All right, now we're ready. Yeah, guys, took the day off yesterday, was working on the Honda Grom. I put some pro taper bars on like this one, the Honda Minis. Uh, put bar and mirrors on it. Uh, replaced the silver boomerangs that were on it with red ones that actually matched the bike. I mean, I don't, I don't know why they put silver ones on it. It didn't really make sense to me, but maybe that's all they had in stock at the time, so that's what they did for 2014. Because all the, I think all the red 2014s had the silver, silver boomerangs, and then in 15 they started putting the red ones on it. But yeah, I got red ones on it now. It looks a whole lot better. All right, I got to slow down here. They got a bunch of gravel. That last time I hit this one of these, I was going really fast and it was like a hump and I went flying up in the air. Thought I was gonna wipe out. Man, it's a really nice day today. A little warm, but as long as you keep moving, it's fine. Yeah, but the Honda Gram has turned out to be a really nice bike now, too. I got that all set up the way how I like it. Uh, I still think I'm going to keep the stock exhaust and everything on it. I, I don't like the aftermarket exhausts they make for the Groms. They're too, they're too stinking loud. I mean, it's only a little 125. It's like there's no reason for them to be that loud. And I really, I really doubt they give you that much more performance. If, if anything, they probably might give you a little bit more top speed, but I bet you lose a lot of torque. So I'm just going to leave mine the way it is. I got this bike to go fast, so unless somebody comes up with a nice exhaust that's not too loud and actually looks halfway decent. I don't know, uh, to me the aftermarket Grom exhausts, except for like the Yoshis and stuff like that, uh, those look nice, but uh, but uh, it seems like most of the aftermarket exhausts they make for like these motorcycles are really cheap looking. And they're, and they're just super loud. And I need to slow down because I do not want to wipe out. Alright. Down a couple gears. There we go. Yep, down one more. There we go. Still getting used to this thing. This bike is a lot different than the Honda Grom for the shifting and stuff like that. It really is. The Honda Grom, I have no trouble at all shifting it, it seems like, but this one, well, I hit a false neutral all the time on the Honda Grom, but that's because the space between first and neutral is so wide, I think, that I keep hitting that neutral all the time, but, uh, but it, it's, the Honda Grom is a whole lot easier bike to shift. But not saying this bike is bad. This bike here, I, I would trust this thing to go anywhere. I would, I would go on a, you know, a thousand mile trip or more on this thing if I, uh, probably if I had a more comfortable seat. But I like the looks of this seat. So even if I did buy a more comfortable one, probably after I got done with the long ride, I'd put this seat back on. <laughs> I kind of wonder if I could take this seat in to an upholstery shop and have them put like the gel padding in it or something. It's something to look into. I might actually do that. But I love the style of the seat. I just don't like the padding they used in it. It's too too firm. You know, I put, uh, let, let me see, I put uh, 63 miles on this bike today. 
and uh, my butt is just starting to get pretty sore right now. I'm trying to get up to a thousand miles. On, I'm trying to put my first thousand miles on this bike. I'm at 992, but by the time I get home from here, I should be at my thousand mile mark, I would think, and a little over. It's kind of amazing. I remember I pulled, I changed the motor out on this bike at like 300 miles, and it's hard for me to believe I already put almost 700 miles on it almost now. So that's kind of crazy. So I got like almost 700 miles on a new motor, and so far this this motor is performing great. Love it. This is this bike is just like a Honda Grom. The only difference is this bike is a lot angrier. <laughs> you you flip the throttle on this thing and you're going, but uh. But the Honda Grom is a nicer, more laid-back bike. The Honda Grom is more of a bike you can relax on, where this bike right here kind of gets you, kind of gets you going. <laughs> I will be making another vlog eventually with the Grom. It's just I, I want to try getting the mileage on this bike to be the same as the Grom. I want to try keeping, I want to try putting the same amount of miles on my bikes, trying to keep it kind of even. So that way it's kind of easy for me to see what bikes I'm riding the most and what, you know, trying to keep, uh, trying to keep it even between all of them. So that way, you know, if I got 1,300 miles on one, I could, you know, I could start riding the other one, put another 300 miles on that one, and then 300 miles on the other one. And, you know, like that, you know, try to just keep them all even. That way I can do all the oil changes at the same time and everything else. Because all my bikes are fast enough to get me where I'm going now. Even, even you know, the Ice Bear is, uh, the Grom is, uh, this bike is. So the only one that's not really fast enough to get me anywhere would be the Zummer. But someday I want to put a... I want to try putting a 150 cc in there. I got to find somebody who can weld up the brackets for me, though. You know, if, if I can find somebody to weld up the brackets to put a 150 in there, that would be great. So then that bike could be like an everyday driver, you know, like a, a useful riding bike, too, where I could drive it everywhere. I just don't like pushing that little 50 cc so hard all the time. A lot of work going, you know, almost 50 miles an hour with the 50 cc. Oh yeah, guys, I've been doing, I've been up to too much, just working a lot. I had a, I took off Friday to. to uh, work on my car. I had to put uh, a new window, window regulator in it and a new motor for the window. And I got that done, but I need to adjust it because it doesn't go up all the way. It leaves like an eighth inch gap, so I got a lot of air leak and stuff. So I must, I, there must have been an adjustment I didn't know about on it. So I got to try seeing if I could loosen things up and uh, pull the window up a little bit and see if that will make it so. Uh, I don't have the air leak anymore. Oh, look at this. Are these for sale? Nice. I wonder. I don't know if they're for sale or not. They don't have a. They don't have a thing on them. Those are some nice scooters, though. Huh. Interesting. I don't really have any room for any more scooters, though. You know, I got a. I got four bikes, and I only have a little shed, so, and I think if I was to get another bike, I would like to get the new, uh, the newer Grom style, the S, I don't know, is that the SF that they call it? I don't know. But I'd like to try, I would like to try to save up and buy a brand new Honda Grom, the, you know, I want a white one still, but uh, 2000, uh, what would it be, 19 colors are coming out, 
I think they're fun ugly. The blue is ugly. The orange is kind of hideous. And uh, I don't, and what's the other, and the other one they have is a red, which is fine. But I already have a red bike, and well, I have a white one too. But I, I seem to be very partial to white. I like white a lot. The white, I don't know, I just think the white bikes look so clean. So that's what I would like to get, but I don't know if I will or not, because I already have a Grom, and uh, I'm not planning on getting rid of it, so. And I really don't think there's any difference between the two. I mean, they didn't make any performance mods or anything. I mean, they're... They're still running the same motor and everything, same compression, same everything, so it wouldn't be worth it for me to get rid of a Grom with, you know, has very low miles just to buy another one that's pretty much the same thing except different plastics on it, you know? Ah, so nice out today. It's really nice when you're driving, but as soon as you stop, boy, you start cooking right away. Today my, my uh, top speed GPS verified is uh, 71 miles an hour. So far 66 miles I put on the bike just today. Put gas in it, filled it up and it's already dropped the bar so usually once it starts dropping on this bike it starts going down pretty damn fast. I really don't think I have my float adjusted right in here because when I first bought this bike the fuel thing didn't work at all so I took it apart and bent up the wire that holds the float a little bit and at least I got it to read so now it shows I at least have gas for the most of the ride so but even when it's on empty I still have quite a bit of gas left so I think that's a good thing to do though that we have a, a safety buffer in case I have to uh, you know, in case I'm far away from a gas station, whatever. So, that worked out all right. Today's, uh, I don't know what day today is, 29th or something like that. I don't know, but it's the weekend, it's Saturday. Uh, and, uh, you see that 4th of July falls on such a weird day this week. Uh... They're having like uh, fireworks like t today and a couple places and stuff like that. Um, Twin Lakes is having their Liberty Fest. I, I lived there, you know, when I was younger. And they always had that. I had an apartment. I used to be able to sit in my apartment and watch fireworks. Because <laughs> my apartment was like right... I was able to see the lake right out of my apartment window, so... It was kind of cool. But uh, we're at another place where I used to live, Pell Lake, is having theirs on the, their fireworks on the 4th of July. And I'm trying to get a little group of uh, bikers together, you know, uh, a local group, uh, Kenosha. The group is called K-Town Little Braps or something like that. And uh, I'm trying to get them to come out and ride for the parade, but I don't know how that's going to work out. You know, they, I'm sure they all have their own things they want to do, so. If not, I'll find something else to do. Maybe my one friend will go. He said he wanted to, but he may change his mind also, so. We'll see. But yeah, guys, I've been wanting to get a... Uh, stunt cage, well, a 12 o'clock bar, whatever, stunt cage, whatever, for this thing. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to try to learn how to stunt or not, but it would be nice just to have in case I wiped out so it would help save the bike plastics and stuff. It seems like these little bikes are have a little tendency to slide out from under you every once in a while, so... My friend is supposed to go riding uh, later tonight, possibly, if he's up to it. We'll see.
I gotta tell you guys, the worst thing to me about bike riding is having to wear a helmet because the helmet, I got like neck problems and my neck really starts to hurt after probably about an hour or two of wearing a helmet. I mean, it's better to wear it, I guess, than break your head open on the road, I'm sure, but man, last year, about this time, I was having trouble with my arms going, my, you know, my uh, left arm going numb all the time because my neck hurts so bad. And I have like uh, degenerating discs in my neck. So I think that pinched a nerve and my arm would always go like completely numb and it would just be so annoying. But uh, the day I wiped out on this bike, doing like three miles an hour, uh, it actually fixed everything. My, my arm don't go numb anymore and my back doesn't hurt anymore like it used to. So I mean, in that respect, it's good, you know? I mean, I'm kind of glad I wiped out because it, it saved me a lot of money going to the doctor to find out what's going on with my neck, you know? I, I went to the doctor just to get x-rays and um, it ended up being like almost $500 just for x-rays. And then they wanted me to get a EKG and all this other stuff done and a MRI. And, it's like, uh, no way, it's like I just spent $500 for x-rays, I am not going to get all this other stuff done, you know, I'm not rich. Uh, my insurance probably would have paid for some of it, but, God, I mean, the medical profession has gotten so expensive. You know, if, it, if prices weren't so bad, I would go, you know. It, it's like the only people who can really afford to go see a doctor's nowadays are all the people who are on state aid. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not working just to pay hospital bills. And, and I'm sure if I would have went, they probably would have told me I needed surgery or something. And they, here I am, I just wiped out on my bike and I'm fine now. So, ain't going to worry about it. <laughs> I thought about buying one of those inversion tables, you know, the ones where they make you hang upside down by your feet, whatever. They say that's supposed to be good for your spine and stuff like that because it stretches you out a little bit. So that's an option, I guess. But as of for right now, I'm doing fine, thank God. coming up to Twin Lakes now I guess there's some radio station out here by the park for the porch you know for their celebration for July whatever kind of neat but I'll, I'll tell you what this this used to be it seemed like it used to be a whole lot more packed uh, but now it's not it doesn't seem like it, it's as packed as it used to get for Liberty Fest anymore. I mean, cars used to be parked down this road, you know, almost this far down the road. And uh, there ain't nothing. But I, I'm sure once I get up to it in town a little bit more, we'll see more cars. I would think. It's kind of funny, guys, that, you know, the Groms are... They just seem like they're not very popular out here. I mean, you see all these people riding Groms on all these other videos and people are like, well, what the hell's that over here? Uh, I hardly get that. I mean, I get it every once in a while, but not very often. Now, I don't know, you know, they're coming out, Honda's coming out with a new monkey bike and stuff like that. Uh, it's cool, but I honestly wouldn't want one. I'm not really... That's a little too retro for me, you know? I mean, I'm not a... Uh, why would I actually want one of those, you know? I, I like the style of the Grom a whole lot better. Uh, and they came out with the new Super Cub or whatever the hell it is. And uh, that too, it's... It, it would be a fun bike for around town because it's an automatic 125, I guess. So that's kind of cool. But... I don't know, I, I just don't, I just don't see myself wanting to buy one of those. Yeah, see this is where they're having Liberty Fest at and it, it just looks dead. I mean, there used to be tons and tons of people and it just seems like it, it's so killed off right now. 
It's like, I, I wonder who has something else going on that's more popular or something. I don't know. I'm sure at nighttime when the fireworks are going, though, this place will be jam-packed. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'd like to get a stunt cage for this. And uh, I don't know, I, I'm going to put on the regular uh, Honda Grom clamps on this too. I'm going to get rid of the Vader style bar clamps they have on here because they're raised bar clamps. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like I did with, I'm going to set it up the same way I got it with my stock Grom. I'm going to put the stock Grom uh, bar clamps on it and down to the stock height. So. This little bike is so much fun to ride. And it's like I said, the thing I, I like about this bike is I could actually keep above traffic. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to keep up with them. I could actually do the speed. You know, like I said, I, right now GPS says I did 71. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I was driving on Highway 50. And I was doing 71, there was still cars pulling up and past me and stuff. And it's like, I got this thing had a lot more power to go, but I didn't really want to go any faster. So I would have been fine doing 55 if everybody else was doing the speed limit. But if, if I was doing 55 on Highway 50, I would have got my butt ran over probably. Yeah, I was out riding with my friend last week and uh some lady was going into bingo and pulled out right in front of us like he you know there was other lane of traffic like over let's say on this side of the road she pulled out right in front of him just you know he hardly had any room at all left to stop and uh it was pretty scary i mean it's like a, he almost you know he could have almost hit her you know and uh, she wouldn't have gave two fucks all she was worried about was her bingo she would have had a miserable day though if he would have hit her she would have been in probably quite a bit of trouble and i was like like i don't know i was probably about four or five motorcycle lanes behind him so i was i had time to stop if i had to but it was still pretty scary Hey, hey guys, I got 1,002 miles on here. Woo! All right. Awesome. This bike has hit a milestone. All I had to do so far on it is I had to re I replaced the front wheel bearings in it, but I think that was my own fault because I pounded the hell out of the stock ones to get them out for uh, getting the rims powder coated. But, uh, but yeah, but now I put those new bearings and this thing is super nice. Before the bearings went, were, when they were bad, uh, one day I was riding to work and I would get this violent like clicking noise and it would shake the whole bike every single time it would click. So I think the bearing was like cracked or something. Cause it would be like, it, it was like the most god-awful crunching noise <laughs> and uh, for a while I thought my forks were cracked or something but you know and they were making that noise but I, I lifted up the front of the bike when I got home from work and sure enough the bearings were just like grinding away so I, I got lucky I actually ordered new bearings for it when I got the rims powder coated it's just I didn't put them in because I thought the bearings were going to be fine but obviously not but now I, I'm, I know how to put them in a whole lot better now too, where you're, I'm a whole lot more gentle. I can pretty much just press them in with my fingers now. So now I don't have to worry about just destroying the bearings, you know, so much. But 
Yeah, guys, I live in a mobile home park, and I just went past this appliance place over here where they sell used appliances. But it kind of made me remember, you know, my, my mobile home park, when we use our water, sometimes it pumps in like a gravel or it, it almost looks like charcoal, what they use for purifying the water or whatever. And uh, it gets stuck in my washing machine. It clogs up the valving in it. And so all I got is hot water for my, for my washing machine. And uh, I, I honestly think seeing that the mobile home park is in charge of the water and them not filtering it before uh, and them not filtering it before it goes out to us that they should be responsible for fixing my washing machine and my uh, my dishwasher my dishwasher doesn't work at all <clears throat> so uh, that's kind of crappy you know it's like I, I need to I'm gonna install in my uh, mobile home my own water uh, filtration you know the inline water filter thing I'm gonna install one of those in there and now I'm probably gonna get a new washing machine and dishwasher. But still it's kinda of messed up. They're the ones who destroyed it. They should be the ones who have to pay for it. They keep raising my rent all the time and for what? It's like they're doing all these stupid little things like putting up a flagpole and planting flowers and stuff like that, but how's that helping us, you know? I mean clean up our water first and then maybe worry about stuff like that. Water is kind of an important thing, I would think. And we got like a bunch of burned out light posts and our sidewalks are falling apart and stuff like that, but it doesn't seem like they really care too much. But the way how they've been fixing up some of the smaller things like planting the flowers and putting up the flagpole and, you know, they're fixing up like the mail room area really nice. Kind of makes me feel like they're thinking about selling the park I don't know I mean I'm, I'm guessing but it, it seems like whenever somebody starts doing things like that where they half-ass try fixing things up just so it looks presentable uh, it's usually what they end up doing man girl I feel sorry for you it's a little warm for a bike ride well guys I'm at to get in I'm, I'm almost home so I'm like oh look at there guys some big old cranes I think those are uh, but yeah, I, I gotta get in and get out of the sun for a while. I'm getting fried. Uh, I've turned into a red lobster. So I'm gonna probably end the video here. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to talk about. I really don't know what to talk about on here. I mean, <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. But like I said, guys, all my bikes are running great right now, so there's nothing for me to talk about fixing or anything like that. So, but yeah, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm going to try making more videos. I got a new drone again. Uh, third time's the charm, I hope. Uh, the long one that flew off on me never came back, so. <laughs> uh, I'm sure, like I said, it's probably in some little kid's bedroom somewhere. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I'm out of here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.